What's going on guys, my name is Marco, and today I'm going to be installing a new graphics card in this old gaming PC I have here. This one in particular has got a Q9450 uh, Core 2 Quad here, and 8 gigs of RAM, and right now it's got a GTX 650 in it, a non-TI uh, GTX 650, so it's quite uh, crappy, especially by today's standards. This thing is pretty, pretty bad, like it can't even run Overwatch at the lowest settings. <laughs> like at 1080p or something I think it was I was playing it at it was like 45 FPS the lowest settings and I think I had the render resolution set to like 50% or something anyway so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this GTX 650 to the GTX 960 2 gigabyte one it's the MSI one that I uh, did an unboxing of a little while back so uh, yeah I'm just gonna jump right into this so a few, a few of you guys actually were wondering about a 6 pin connector um, for the GTX 1050 Ti and all that stuff and uh, what I meant by that was, I, I should have clarified it, is that this connector right here so the GTX 1050 Ti does not require this connector at all and we're just gonna go ahead and start this by unplugging it and showing you so we're just gonna go ahead and pop this guy out, whoops, hit my camera this is the 6 pin connector right here as you can see it's got 6 pins so yeah, that's really it. But so the so older cards like this one, actually really any any new card that requires a good amount of power is going to need at least one of these. And in a lot of cases, they're going to need one 8 pin or even two 8 pins depending on what you buy. So uh for example, one of my other gaming PCs has a 1070 in it, a for the win and it requires two 8 pin uh connectors for the video card. But but anyway, so in this case, this is one 6 pin. Um, that this video card does require, as does the GTX 960. So this is it, this is what it looks like, and we're going to move on from that. Uh, Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and unscrew this now. And then some other boards, which I think most of them, have a little lock that's uh, up in there. It's kind of hard to see, but you'd see it if, uh, you know what I was talking about if you saw it. It's kind of hard for me to get the camera in, in that angle there. So anyway, we're going to want to press that little lock. I don't think every motherboard has this, but I think a good amount of them do, so more than likely you'd run into this if this is your first time installing a GPU, or removing one for that matter. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Here's our GPU, the GTX 650. So that's that. And then we're going to... Oh, here's one of the locks right here. Here's what they look like. I think the PCI Express one up here is the same. Well, they're all PCI Express D's anyway. Alright, so that's that. We're going to move that, that aside. This this uh, motherboard, the Intel DX38BT, actually doesn't even have an integrated graphics card, so I mainly had that in there just to be able to use the computer, <laughs> so because uh, I have no other way of doing that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put the 960 in here, which actually requires an 8 pin connector. So I'm going to go ahead and use an adapter I have. I'm not going to bother showing that on a, on camera because I, I got to get it from another, another computer I have that I'm not using right now. So I've actually got my adapter in the box. I didn't see it initially. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and install the 960 now. Here's the adapter, here. So it's 6 pin to 8 pin adapter. As you can see, it's just like jumped or something. I don't even really know how these work, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop this into here. So, pretty self-explanatory though, if you've made it this far. So there we go now. Now we have an 8 pin connector instead of a 6, woohoo. All right, so putting the uh, 960 in or any new GPU you buy is pretty much the reverse of removal except lining the pins up sometimes can be a little bit difficult but as long as you're careful you should be alright so we're gonna go ahead and just line this up be careful with all your mess of wires if you're like me and don't know how to do cable management and we'll just go ahead and line this up best we can whoops There we go. 
All right, so I've got it locked in. Now at this point, we're gonna be experiencing a lot of GPU sag because the screws aren't in. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. All right, so now everything's been screwed in. And uh, all we need to do now is just go ahead and connect our eight pin connector like so. Go ahead and like so you want to go ahead and support the GPU kind of on the back if you can, because you do kind of have to push a little bit harder than you probably want to. All right, but I got a reassuring click there, and it's all done. So now we just go ahead and uh, kind of shove our cables in there. Unless you have a well-managed system, uh, unlike me in this case, this is some kind of like generic 500 watt power supply I've had since like 07, so 10 year old power supply here. At this time modular power supplies were extremely expensive and being a new teenager on a, you know, birthday money income I had to kind of cut some corners unfortunately, but the PC worked and I had this PC about 10 years before building my newest gaming PC. And like six months ago, believe it or not. I went through a few upgrades here and there, but, but anyway, yeah, so that's going to conclude the video, guys. So thanks for watching. Just remember to uh, comment and subscribe and uh, like the videos. definitely helps. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.